Hi, welcome back for another flute review where we're going to be taking a closer look at one of the flutes from my collection. Today we're going to be looking at a flute from Nepomo Flutes. Jaden Smith is the flute maker and he has named his flute line after the place he lives, Nepomo, California. I believe that's how it's pronounced. And I found out about him, I think, through his Etsy store. Um, I was looking for some lower flutes. Like many of you, um, I really enjoy the low-toned flutes. Some people might call this a contrabass G. I call it a bass G. Um, the next G flute, when you look at octaves on a piano, would be uh, just a typical mid G. And it's about half the length because this is one octave lower. So if that isn't a bass flute, it doesn't make sense to call this a contrabass flute, in my opinion. Um, like many of the great big flutes, this does have a side blow mouthpiece to make it a little bit easier instead of trying to reach like this with a mouthpiece on the end. For me, it's doable. It would be doable on this flute. Um, the side blow makes it easier to reach the finger holes for a lot of people though. So many flute makers use that. This flute is made from Western cedar with buckeye burl for this big end cap and what I think he's going to call this like a wave, I call it a wave block. The block does have a little chimney, it doesn't quite extend the full length of the true sound hole, but it does have a little chimney there to help direct the air. It has a dropped nest. The flue is in the flute body and the true sound hole measures a half inch wide by a quarter inch long. The breath hole in the mouthpiece, which this is African Blackwood, uh, I'm pretty certain, uh, the mouthpiece blow hole is three eighths of an inch diameter. The bore diameter is one and one half inches. Great big bore. And the bore Length is 29 and a half inches. The overall length end to end is 35 inches. This is a big, big flute. Has fairly large finger holes. I have short little fingers. They're not super chubby fingers. I don't have any problem on covering these holes and I think most people would not have a problem with this flute. They are in line. Um, they don't have, there might be just a very slight offset on this, this bottom set of holes for a right hand player and the mouthpiece does position it so that you should be using your right hand in the, in the lower position. Uh, they can be made either with the mouthpiece on either side. That is doable. The wall thickness, um, oh, and this is a two-piece, uh, two-piece routed flute glued back together. The, the end cap appears to be one solid piece of wood, as far as I can tell, 
on that so this is glued in after the two pieces are rejoined. Wall thickness, a little bit hard to tell because it's, it's not quite all the same. Um, it's a little less than 3 16 though. Um, gosh, in some areas it's only like an eighth of an inch thick. Don't know if you can see that. So, again, um, these base flutes, I love the tone of. They are a little bit hard to control for some people. What I find is to kind of position it to my side a little bit and bring my arms back in and, and over to the side and bring the mouthpiece up to me to be able to play it pretty well. For me, the finger holes and this mouthpiece, I would like up just a little bit more to be more comfortable and, and to be in a more relaxed position. But this works fine. Here's the voice. used to trying to do that half hole down there. That was a little better. clear, not real loud, but a beautiful tone, beautiful tone. And um, G is one of the keys that I use quite a bit for a few reasons. G was the first flute that I ever owned, the mid G. Um, so that key sort of has a soft place in my heart. And um, because of that, uh, my, the first tongue drum that I got is a G Pygmy, and I got one of the Rav drums. And so I can play this. combination with the rap drum. So that was one of the one of the things I was looking for in the real low bass flute in G. So Nepomo Flutes by Jaden Smith, Western Cedar, 
buckeye burl, uh, accents, African blackwood mouthpiece, great big bass G flute. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, back when I got this, he had um, amazing prices on these. His prices have gone up since I got this, and I don't remember the exact year. I've had this for a while now. Um, but I did, a, I think, an unboxing on that when I first got it. Um, and people looked at that and started ordering some of his flutes and I, he has raised his price on his, on his big bass flutes. I think rightly so. They're, they're worth more than what I paid for this one. So hope you enjoyed the review. Please, if you haven't yet subscribe, click the little bell down over there so that you can be notified whenever I do another review whether I do a tutorial on how to play these wonderful instruments, and I do have one on how to get your fingers better ready to play these great big flutes with more of a stretch. So I'll put a link to that right up here. Um, for any of you that struggle with reaching those holes, getting your fingers to reach those holes, um, look for that link. And uh, also look for my music videos where I play Native American style flutes. It might be one solo. It could be a couple flutes together. It could be the Native American flute with other instruments like the tongue drum or rab drum. Um, or other instruments, keyboard, guitars, things like that, and other percussion type things. Thank you so very much for watching and tuning in today, and I hope you have an awesome day. Take care.